Yeah, yeah, he's a little green dragon. Okay. Uh, so I don't see the four. I'm going to wait for just a minute to keep observing them just to see if there's any more that I can tell that are out there. Or just the four. Okay, roll me another perception check. So, so we'll say when we can see this. Uh, to Kai, I would never see this. To Kai, you see uh, a very large shadow in the sky overhead. Oh. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna make my way back to um, party and just kind of let him know what I saw. Okay. okay, so I instantly, when he tells me what he saw, I mean, I instantly say, "Let's go kill the dragon." It's a baby dragon, and it's green. Let's kill the kobolds first. I don't care. I want to kill the dragon. Aren't, aren't kobold a dragon people? Why would they have a caged dragon? Well, isn't the dragon caged, so it's not really a threat. So let's handle the kobolds, exactly. and then we'll figure something out. My point exactly. I'm with Remy. I'm like, all right, team break, go. And I uh, go. So are we, are we going into battle with them? You also tell, he also tells you that he saw a very large, ominous shadow in the sky. Shadow the overhead. So I'm like, so there's that. So... At the point where we can charge the guys, because uh -huh. I'm pretty right. sure we are, we are we gonna fight them right now. That's that's what I got from what Takai told us. I mean, so by the way, so I mean, I obviously I, did, I forgot to ask, like, what kind of area is this? This is like like barren hillside or very sparse trees or is it dense forest. It's pretty barren. It's a pretty barren hillside. So like, uh, there's some, there's some larger rocks about and whatnot, and they they're kind of on a flattish area with rocks about them. Um, trying kind of to keep the light down a little bit, but uh, the shrieking is kind of blatantly the little dragon, and right. it's kind of not super sneaky. So right. it's like Again. I told us it was like a green dragon, and I don't know shit about dragons, so does he know what the green... Because <clears throat> he said it's a green dragon, like it's something we shouldn't be afraid of. Um, what is this? Yes, Rami. Um, oh. so that... Whatever is above us, would the rest of us notice this? Can we take it like a perception? You heard him. You heard him say it. You haven't noticed it yet, but you heard him say it. Do you uh, just look up into the sky? Yeah, or like if I looked up into the sky, would I be able to see it? I don't know. Roll a perception check. We'll find out. Okay. Yeah, Takai, I'll, I'll, I'll if you take want a look to, too. If you want to learn about this dragon, give me a nature. Yeah, give me a nature. What's my nature? Knowledge, nature. Knowledge, nature. Oh, sweet. If you have some. 16. And Remy, what did you roll in 18? Remy, you don't notice anything. You see the clouds above you, a full moon, stars, constellations, all kinds of cool stuff. But no, nothing big and scary. Um, to Kai, you would know that this is technically a dragon, what you saw. Um, but it's a pseudo dragon. They're not really dragons in the sense that they're when it grows up it's going to be you know 400 foot long and breathe fire and right. kill everybody um it's a very small cousin of dragons they only grow to about three or four foot long they have spikes on their tails that they can use to deliver some venom and whatnot um and they're rather valuable rather rather valuable okay so so i explain this I, the, yeah i, I explained that to, especially to uh, keiko i'm like okay again this is not a normal <laughs> dragon Okay, then, like then I don't get too close, then I'm not cool, because, like, like, if it's a dragon, like I'm gonna kill it, but if it's... Yeah. I'm like, I basically, it's probably more like, uh, they're gonna sell it, try and make money off it, poach it, whatever. Um, cool, hopefuls. then I just wanna I'll kill the kobolds. Okay, let's do that. And then so, I'm gonna sneak up and try and get one shot off, sneaky. Okay, so like, you're just gonna and, sneak and, up on the group. I keep yeah. pretty close this time, like... I'm not giving him much of a lead. Okay, they don't notice you for shit. And 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 I uh, before we go, I say to uh, to to Kitty, when I charge in, charge with me. Sure thing. And what? Uh, give me give me a stealth check. Uh, Lamaria first. Okay. Yeah. Twenty six. So I you, keep like fifteen feet behind Lamary. You can easily get into bow range. Like you, you sneak up yeah. basically as close as you want to. I'm assuming you'd be okay. close. I want to be right range. around one hundred and ten feet, which is like the perfect oh, range nice. for my okay. compound longbow. Okay, you are perfect. 
So and I'm then... trying to sneak up to where I can yeah. before he shoots to where where I can charge. Okay. So you're gonna you're gonna try to sneak within like thirty to, feet of them. To 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 the point where I can charge them. Maybe he can just shut up off before because I'm obviously passing him. So he can take his shots whenever. But I'm trying to get as close as I can until I can charge. Shorty's level movement speed. In range. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, just give me a stealth check. One, two. And I'm, I'm like, signaling to Kitty that she should follow me. She's I know she does this. Than me, right? Like, not the same direction as me. Yeah, so like you guys are, you, I get it, you guys are creeping up on them. Give me, both of you give me stealth checks. Okay. Uh, you don't have to, Max. You're just okay. hanging out back with the Kai, right? Yeah, I'm uh, 15 feet behind the Kai. Okay. Kit I rolled an 8. Kitty, stealth check. Yeah, I was just making sure. Um, so, you and Keiko sneak up um, to about 40, 50 feet away, and right when that happens, you hear another loud screech from the pseudo-dragon. Um, but they don't seem to know the the cobalts don't seem to notice you. They kind of turn Ooh. and they're like, "Man, shut this thing the fuck up! What is going on? I just want to get some fucking sleep." And they kind of grumble about the cage, and one of them kicks the side of it, and the dragon hisses at them. So, are we in range for? Uh, yeah, you you sneak up with him. You sneak up with So him. I signal to Takai that I'm ready and he can shoot whenever the fuck he wants. Now, how do you <laughs> signal back to him exactly? <laughs> Like By I can't see him. I can't see him at all. But I just like point and then. Oh, okay. With my fucking. <laughs> Basically, when I get in range, I'm gonna give it a little second say. Okay. Maybe you can see them off to the side, trying to sneak up as well, and then I'm just gonna let loose. Okay. Well, uh, roll so, ahead. You get a surprise round. Uh, so surprise is it plus four? Or plus uh, two? I'll do I'll so do the adjustment on my end. Okay. Yeah, just get they, they count as bad hit, so they have less AC from that. As 14 soon, in which as soon as I, there's as soon there's as I think, hold on if, quick. if the shot doesn't oh sorry there's four I'm gonna do the one that's the like the farthest away from where um Keiko and Remy would be coming from so the one that the like just kicked the cage yes that okay. one okay that douchebag uh that is a hit roll for damage Yay. on the eight for a long bug. Yeah. Plus one. Uh, uh, yeah, it's plus five. Because it's the compound. Uh, uh, comp composite only yet give you a plus one. No, but it gives you plus one damage. The one from too. the party that we got, remember, it's the masterwork plus one strength mm -hmm. one. So it's yeah. my normal 1d8 plus four and then one strength damage as well. Yeah. Uh, so you don't get uh, plus four from Dex uh, on Plumbos. Yeah, you do. Good. I can show you. Where uh, can you find that then? Yeah, I'll, I'll show you. DM. What? That's what we did before last week. Yeah, you so. get you can have your dex damage. That's fine. You get a big sneak attack on him, anyways. Um, and yeah, you hit him basically square in the eyes and knock him flat. So does this? Does he shoot before or after I signal? Uh, right as you signal, actually, crazy enough. Because because I I would charge as soon as the signal hits. Okay. So you just charge straight into him then? I charge fucking, nice. and like, I say to, to Kitty, I, I use Inspiring Charge. Okay. Which is one of my traits. Yeah. So I just charge him yeah, so you to guys the just, nearest fucking thing. You guys just both charge for the closest one to you? Yeah, I don't, I yeah. can't tell if Kitty charge, but if she does, yeah, she gets. Uh, how does charging work? Is it something I need to have on my character sheet? No, you can just run it then. No. You cool, I'm gonna run up on that. But but because I because two. I use inspiring charge, you get plus one plus one. Yeah. Okay. So you guys just charge at whatever closest one is. They obviously see their friend get fucking plowed in the head, and they all go to grab their weapons and yeah, you know, what the fuck is going on? And they all grab their spears and uh well two of them grab their spears. A third one grabs the the biggest of the group actually grabs a set of nunchucks. Um, and kind of looks about a little bit. Ninja years. kobolds. This one does happen to be a ninja kobold, yes. Um, ninja so, kobold. roll me your initiative, bros, and tell me what you're doing. Um, I'm going in for <laughs> an attack. 
I'm just hitting the nearest fucking thing, but I rolled and said <laughs> when she... You're just, you're just running into attack, you're just charging into attack, kitty. I'm charging yeah. into attack the closest one to me. What are you attacking with? My... Maginata. Okay, so that's a two-handed weapon. Yep. So have you done all of your initiative modifiers for this? Yes, sir. I have plus five and then negative five for two hands, so it's... Yeah, and then plus four, four. You have plus sir. five on your initiative? Yes, sir. Okay, so then plus four for charging, so it's actually 20. Or yeah, for I also forgot to add the plus four. That's fine. Uh, so so plus and four. then mine would be, I'm not. I'm just taking another shot and I'm not moving. Okay, yeah, so you so, just yeah. just your initiative again. Okay, so it's a, technically it counts as a two-hand weapon, right? Because yep. it's the bow? Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. Bows go at uh, plus, it's a composite longbow, so it's actually plus three. Let's see, so it's actually going to be a four then. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, the thing I will do is I walk closer to uh, Lemuria and uh, ask her where the enemies are, more exactly. Okay. I'm like, <laughs> so I can find them. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, straight ahead. And I kind of like, I turn his shoulders in the right direction. <laughs> so Fucking we have fart a hungry whale. Fucking <laughs> hungry whale. And... A fighter who uses a spear, and then we have like a guy. Dude, who you're sixty spear. feet in front of me. I don't see that far. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, do you hear the sounds of a large whale creature running at people? That's where they are. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> okay, so yeah. you guys, you guys shoot this thing. You shoot the goblin or the cobalt. The cobalt falls back and smashes into the cage. And the, mm -hmm. the pseudo dragon starts thrashing about because it realizes that shit's going down. Mm -hmm. um, starts banging himself up against the cage walls and doesn't quite break them. Um, the rest of the party, Carl, you're, so you're just walking over there and asking where the fuck, what's going on, what's going on? Uh, more like where are the okay. enemies? Okay. Um, so you let me know. So you're, once he he tells you obviously that they're ahead of you. Yeah. Then I would uh, start heading toward that direction. Okay. So that's going to be 100 feet. Your movement's 30, right? Uh, yeah, now 20. I have a medium armor. Okay. 8, 12. Okay. So at 16, you'll get to them. Or so. Okay. Where, well, you'll get where they are now. And what are you going to be doing once you get there? Uh, I'm going to take a uh, shot at them. Okay, so you're you're actually not when going I all the way can, to them then. So when I can see the first one, I'll take a shot at them with my longbow. Okay. Is, is it set up in D20 or shit, or should we move characters, or is it just like mine? No, it's all in your head. Um, cool. D12, so roll me your initiative for just a shot. Yeah, uh, long, using a longbow, what was that? Longbow, normal longbow, is just a plus one. Plus, plus one, so... Yeah. And then minus your normal initiative. Minus your normal initiative, yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're going to be going on 17. Okay, brilliant. So the kobolds see, see you guys charging. They see their friend get smashed with an arrow in the face. Um, and they all grab their spears, like I said, and they all pull out slings, and they start whipping them around and throwing the rocks towards... Uh, the whale that's running at them right now, actually. Um, the whale is so majestic. Global talk. <laughs> and they're all like, what the fuck is that? What's your AC, whale? It's 17. I haven't activated rage, so it's 17 right now. Fuck me. Oh my god, die, please. One, two, three. Okay. One of them fucks up hard. Here's Does any of them hit? No, none of them hit. They all rocks go flying by you. Fucking whale skin. Take a minus four penalty on all attack rolls for one round. I don't know how to roleplay that, but that happens. Um, okay. So they roll initiative again to reload. And they roll really fucking well again. They actually roll a three. Which means they get to take another fucking shoot more rocks at the whale. Miss. <laughs> hit. I'm still charging. And a fuck up again. Jesus Christ, these ones. Okay. Uh, you take. 
You take a rock, it hits you, and you take three damage. That's a lot. 